echo is no more. Yes. I felt it. Aiden took him out. Just as I knew he would. After all, using Exodia such a, is just such a cheap tactic to win. Our problem is Davis. Even with his cheap tactics with his Exodia deck, Echo is still no match for Aiden. Yo! What's up, my dudes? Zane Hook. How pleasant of you to finally join us. What do you want, Zane? Oh, nothing. I just came to give you guys a helping hand. Master Moldark ordered me to since, you know, Lex and Echo failed their missions. And now I think it's time I get a shot at it. Hmm. You can do what you want. Also, you should know one thing. The Master brought Dookie Rigoto into this. Wait. THE Dookie Rigoto? But why would he do that? Pfft, beats me. He probably only brought him in just to take him out. And knowing him, he'll probably send the best cultists known as Nebula or Salvatore. Either one works. Wait. One of those two? Oh. If he's sending out one of those two to take care of him, the situation must be really dire to our plans. Oh yeah, he ain't screwing around now. And something tells me his duels against us are gonna get difficult. He wants us to take care of Aiden and the rest. But before that, he needs to take care of one loose end. Blight. He knows what we're up against. He knows what we're up to. And if he, and if Blight tells them, our plans will be ruined. No need to take care of that, Zane. I'll deal with Blight the first chance I get. After all, it's my fault for bringing the brute in this. Oh! You mean that guy who can't even read his cards? Now then, what to do? We wait. See what develops. Ah, don't you guys just love the smell of adventure? With all due respect, Mr. Davis, all I smell is salt water and seagulls. Huh? Mr. Waters, are you okay? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Your name is Nick Waters. You use a water deck. And you, of all people, get seasick? I mean, yes, I know. Oh my, oh my. It appears that one of you is not enjoying our trip. So anyway, where's Dookie? You said he'd be here. Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you, lad, but, uh, Dookie kinda had, uh, complications with the different bro, and so unfortunately, he will not be here to join us. Aw, oh, darn it, that's a shame. I was really hoping Dookie would show up. It's been years since I last saw him, and he can make a great ally to our fight against the Sacred Cult. I know, I know, it won't be exciting as much as I thought it would be, but I still have the utmost faith in you lads. We'll find the sacred beast before that cursed cult does. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> so, Aiden and the others are here. I gotta, I gotta warn them about who they're working with before it's too late. So, Theodore, if you don't mind me asking, what's so special about the Sacred Beasts, and why are we in the cold even after them anyways? Ah, good question, Davis. Allow me to explain. The 
thousands of years ago, there was a kingdom in ancient Egypt. It was a prosperous kingdom blessed by the protection of the ancient gods, as its people lived there peacefully. But one day, the pharaoh's high priest Amersis created a trio of monsters known as the Sacred Beasts. He used the dark and evil powers of, the, of those monsters to turn the kingdom into ruin as he spread his darkness across the land. As all hope had seemed lost, a brave hero appeared from as of nowhere and used the power of his monsters to seal the dark ones away. As punishment for the atrocity he's committed, the high priest of Mercis was sentenced to be batted from this world and sealed away in a dark and empty tomb, never to see the light of Ra's sun again. Thousands of years later, when the game of Duel Monsters was in its infancy, an excavation of Amersis' tomb had recently occurred, and within their findings, the research team found three hieroglyphic stones depending, depicting the priest monsters. But, uh, but soon after their discovery was made public, the members of the expedition team all died mysteriously, one by one. Sometime after, Industrial Illusions created three cards based off the monsters depicted on the wall of Amersis' tomb which we all came to know as the Sacred Beasts. And as they say, the rest is history. Wow. That's some story you told us. Story? That sounds more like a nightmare! <clears throat> so what else did they find in that tomb? Or did they seal it up? Ah, good question, Mr. Waters. Not only did they find the inscriptions of the Sacred Beasts in order to successfully make the cards off of them, but they found Amersis' burial chamber. And you would not believe what they found. Whoa. What did they find? On the walls, they found some hieroglyphics, but they were incomplete. The researchers tried to complete them, but as I told you before, the expedition team all died mysteriously. However, they were able to decipher a message. It said, Death is only the beginning. Mother! Wow! <laughs> Guess that explains why they're so powerful. Mr. Davis, do you think that this Amersis and Maldar could be connected in some way? I mean... It is possible. Amersis and Moldar do sound very similar to each other. Indeed. Now we must find the Sacred Beasts and get them before Moldar gets them and completes what that evil ancient Egyptian sorcerer started all those thousands of years ago. Firewall Dragon. So this is the card that the Duel Guardian entrusted me with. The question is why? So we have a new monster, Aiden. What now? Not sure. Oh, and by the way, thanks for that idea with the monster reborn on his on Echo Spirit Reaper. I wouldn't have stood a chance in that duel if it wasn't for you. Of course I was right. You humans are always so stubborn. This is why AI are much more superior. Uh huh. Huh? It's a letter. Hello, Aiden. If you're reading this, that means I could not show up. I'm sorry for that. But I had some problems regarding our old friend Samuel Smith, as well as some political problems, as I'm sure you're aware. Eventually, I will find a way to track you down and help you deal with this cult as soon as possible. And until then, stay safe and say hi to Tanner and Nick for me. It's been forever since I last saw them. And I left you a little present, a special card. I worked my ass to get it for you. And I hope it comes in handy for you. One more thing. Moldark is closer to you than you think. Stay safe, stay strong, and you can beat them. Sincerely, Dookie. What the? Another card? This is- My god, Aiden! Why are these people 
people giving you all these free cards all of a sudden. Uh, I guess I'm just lucky. What are you saying, me, bang? Strange. How is it that the cult is always there to the places that Mr. Grayson sends us to? First the pyramid, then the training grounds, and at the dock? This simply can't be coincidence. Something's not right here. But what? Finally, someone puts all the pieces together. Well, for the most part, at least. Hmm? And who might you be? Oh, uh, just a wanderer. Hoping to give Aiden a hand. This leader of the cult is closer than you think. What do you mean? What if I told you that Dulcorp is now under the control of the leader of the sacred cult? That's absolute rubbish. That can't be true. On the contrary. Didn't you just comment on how much of a coincidence it is that you and the rest of Aiden's group and the cult are at the same place at the same time? Where do you think the cult has been getting their info from? I'm sure you of all people know that duelists get to know each other better with their duels, not with their trash talk. So it's so a duel then? Fine. But I assure you, you're gonna lose. We'll see. I'll make I'll make the first move. To start off, I summon out the Photon Thrasher! Then, since I control a Photon Monster, I can special summon out the Photon Vanisher. Then, I overlay them to exceed summon Starly's Photon Blast Dragon! However, I should point out that my Starleash Photon Blast Dragon doesn't like to be alone. So I think I'll bring out a little friend from my deck and special summon for him to join the party. With his effect, I can special summon out Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon straight from my deck! Photon Dragon on the first turn. Why am I not surprised? Hmm. <laughs> Of course, it's no surprise. I do run photons, after all. I'll end my turn. It's your move, Archie. Prepare to feel the power of my auto. Start off. I summon out Skull Cravat Joker. Then I'll activate its effect, letting me add You Go Golem from my deck straight to my hand. Then. I'll use scale. I'll use scale one odd eyes persona dragon and scale eight odd eyes mirage dragon to set the pendulum scale. I'm taking control of this duel starting now. I now pendulum summon odd eyes mirage odd eyes pendulum dragon and my and my performer power you go go. Now I activate my golem's effect. I can use it to fusion summon a monster. So I'll use my Odd Eyes Pendulum and you go Golem. I fusion summon Odd Eye Vortex Dragon. Now I activate my Vortex Dragon's ability, sending your Galaxy Eyes back to your hand. Now I activate my Quick Play Spell Card, forbidding Chalice to negate Starleash Photon Blast Dragon. Hmm, not bad. I still can't get past that Starly's Dragon of yours, so I'll have to end my turn there. Alright, I draw! And I know just the perfect way to get rid of that Vortex Dragon. I activate Dark Hole! Nice try. I'll activate my Vortex Dragon's effect, shuffling my performer pal Yugo Golem back into my deck to negate that. I told you! I was going to get rid of that Vortex Dragon, and you just helped me out how. From my hand, I activate another spell card. Galaxy 100. Now with its effect, I can send a Photon Monster from my deck straight to the Graveyard, such as my Photon Emperor. And since it was sent to the Graveyard, it's automatically special summoned back to my field in defense mode. But I'm not done yet, because now I can normal summon the Galaxy Wizard. And now, I'll activate its effect. 
Ghost, making it level eight. Then I'll overlay my two level eight monsters. With these two monsters, I build the overlay network and exceed some of the Galaxy Ice Cypher Dragon. Now, Galaxy Eyes, use one of your overlay units and activate your special ability, Cypher Subjection. That is a big problem right there. Understatement of the year. Now, I'll set your I'll set the dragon you so kindly provided to me in attack mode and have it attack your Skull Cravat Joker. Dun. Now, Cypher now Cypher Dragon, attack him directly! Come on. You're nearly down to half your life points. Why don't you just give up and listen to what I have to say? The duel's not over until the last card is played. Have it your way then. I end my turn. I draw! Perfect. At least I have more resources. At least I have more resources than you do. Because now I activate the spell card. Spiral Flame Strike to destroy your Cypher Dragon. Now I activate my other quick play spell card. Book of Moon to set your Starleash Photon Blast Dragon face down. Fine by me. Now I'll Pendulum Summon my Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon into my extra monster zone. Then I'll overlay Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. With them, I, I XC Summon Odd Eyes Astro Root Dragon. No, Absolute Dragon! Attack Starly's Photon Blast Dragon! I end my turn there. I draw. I'll activate the spell card Traden. With it, I send my Photon Dragon in my hand to the graveyard to draw two new cards. Then, I'll activate Galaxy Zero! And with it activated, I can bring back the Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon back from my graveyard. So what? It's not like you can attack, let alone activate its effect. Who said anything about using Cypher Dragon? No, I'm going to use it to bring out a more powerful monster. I rebuild the overlay network with my Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. Go! Chaos Exceeds Evolution! Appear! Galaxy Eye's Full Armor Photon Dragon! Oh no! Well, good luck trying to get past my Absolute Dragon. With its effect, I can just negate any attack you throw at it. I use Galaxy Eye's Full Armor Photon Dragon's ability. I detach one overlay unit from it to destroy Absolute Dra destroy your Mirage Dragon. Hmm. That was smart. Of course it wouldn't do that. After all, when my dragon is sent to the graveyard, it has an effect. But regardless, I won't go down that easy. I'm not, I'm still not done yet. I rebuild the overlay network again. Appear, Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade Dragon. Wait, why did you go into a monster that's 800 attack points weaker than what you had to begin with? It's called an effect, you idiot. I activate my dragon's ability. I detach its overlay unit to finally get rid of Absolute Dragon. Whatever, because my Absolute Dragon's ability activates. I can now special summon up any Odd Eyes monster my, from my extra deck. I special summon out Odd Eyes Meteor Blast Burst Dragon in defense mode. Battle phase, Cypher Blade, destroy. I end my turn with just a single face down. I better make this la this draw count. Draw! And it looks like it did. I I set I once again set my second Mirage Dragon in the Pendulum Scale. With this, I'll now normal summon my former pal Pendulum Sorcerer. As well as Pendulum Summon back, the Skull of that Joker! Now, I overlay my two level four monsters to exceed summon Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon! Thank you for making this so easy. Huh? What do you mean? Hm. Fine, I guess I'll show you. 
I activate my face down quick play spell card, Hyper Galaxy! With this card's effect, I can tribute monsters we control from both fields. So I'll tribute my Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade, along with your Dark Rebellion, to summon the final card in my hand. Up here, Galaxy Eye's Photon Dragon! Oh no! My Dark Rebellion! Oh, and to add further salt in the wounds, Galaxy Hunter's effect now activates, letting me banish one fate, what adding me banish one card from your extra deck, and I'll choose Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Turn end. Regardless, this is this is the last turn. I activate the Pot of Green. It's showtime. Now, since I control a Photon Monster, I can Special Summon Photon Advancer! Now, I summon out my second Galaxy Wizard. Now, I overlay my two monsters to bring out, once again, Starleash Photon Blast Dragon in attack mode! Photon Blast Dragon, attack it directly! <laughs> Archie, you put up a good fight, but it wasn't good enough. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, attack! With Photon Stream of Destruction! <sighs> I beat you. Now do you believe me? Let's just say I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I still don't trust you. Well, that's good enough for me. I'll see you around, along with the rest of your gang. <sighs> Hello, security? We have a stowaway in our midst. Throw him overboard with no life vest. I will make it legal. Now, if you value your job, you will do as I say. Probably just a damn rat. I have to get back. If Dookie gave me this card, then things must be getting bad. Aiden, 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 Aiden! Theodore is evil! Huh? Oh, what is it, Tanner? Uh, Mr. Grayson, he, 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 he! Whoa, whoa, chill. Slow down. Tell me what happened. Exactly from the start. <laughs> okay. I heard them. After Archie got beaten in a duel by some guy using Galaxy Eyes. Wait, Galaxy Eyes? So Dookie is here? I didn't know who he was, but he didn't have a fedora. Wait, 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 wait. What were you even doing anyway? Getting, uh, getting a snack? But that's not important. Theodore is not to be trusted. Dookie's letter did mention that the cold leader is closer than we think. Wait, you're not saying that... I I'm not sure about it yet. But I suggest that we keep a close eye on and be very careful what we say to Mr. Grayson. We need proof rather than accusations before bringing this to the rest. So you don't trust me? No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that... Ah, uh, hello, boss. Have you done as I asked? Yes, sir. I've got the miners in Mintville to start evacuating. It took a lot of convincing, let me tell you. Excellent. Perhaps you're not as useless as I thought you were. Love you too, sir. 
bite me. Anyway, we should be arriving at our destination soon. And the trap will be set up perfectly. Proceed as planned, Voss. I'll contact you when we reach our destination. Yes, my master. I look forward to putting that little shit in his place. Until then, this is Voss Dredd, signing off. Looking forward to seeing you soon, master. <laughs> All is going according to plan. Hmm? Sir, you've not been recognized on our... on our list of passengers. We must ask that you come along quietly. I'm sorry, but I have no time for that. If you don't comply with us, we'd be given special orders to throw you off the ship. So what you gonna do? You can try. I warned them. Hmm? Oh, it's him. Blight speaking. Yeah, but I had some problems. But nothing I couldn't take care of. Agreed. Theodore knows I'm here. This could get a little difficult. For you, maybe. Whatever you say. Uh...